Do you, as an average consumer, want to know how to upgrade a pre-built system that's got a good CPU already in it to play any 4K games at high frames per second? Well, I'll show you how, as I install this 1080 Ti into my Dell XPS 8900, and it'll destroy any 4K games that I throw at it. So, continue after the break. Hey, what's going on guys? Applebot here, back with another video, and today, um, there are a few things I have to talk to you about. Right here, and right here, you probably can hear that, and on my camera, I got a little bit of a different setup here today. So, on my camera, thanks to Rode, and on my shirt right here, thanks to Rode again, I have the Rode VideoMic Pro, and the Smart Lav Plus along with the TR3 adapter, I think it is. So it is TRS to TRRS. I think it's the other way around, but whatever. It's for those three-pin headset microphone plugs to the two-pin plug for your, your camera. So here is the main reason why I haven't been uploading for a little bit. So that is because my old 970... I don't currently have it with me. I'll be back in a minute when I get it. Uh, here's my 970 right here. This is the, e the EVGA GeForce GTX 970 SSC WinForce ACX 2.0. That, that's a really, really, really long name. So this thing was my daily driver and this computer right here for about three years. And it recently kicked the bucket. As you could say, it this thing has died. So that's why you haven't seen very many videos lately. And the videos that you have seen haven't been very high quality. They've been really poor quality. And I'd just like to take a minute and apologize for that. Yes, I could use my laptop, but I had also sent in my Rode Video Mic Go. If you guys want to want to know what that thing sounds like, go watch the building computer video. Oh yeah, it's called Building the Best Call of Duty World War II Computer for Under a Grand. You guys can go check that video out somewhere on my channel. You guys can go just click the click the channel. And so, yes, when you go click on that video, the channel art looks completely different. Yes, I switched to a tech channel. And yes, I can kind of, I was kind of releasing it really, really, really slowly by that computer build by no more gaming content. And that is, no, this computer will demolish any game at 4K now that I've rebuilt it basically in the Dell XPS 8900 chassis. That was a pain in the butt, but yes, I have done it. And yes, this is the power supply externally from the computer, and yes, that did not work inside the computer but back on track this thing I could tell it was starting to die because I had to ramp up the the fan speed constantly at a hundred percent so the thing sounded like a spaceship that was taken off it's louder than any oven or fan inside the house and um, when I would play Call of Duty I had to lower the settings down 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 progressively progressively lower and I noticed that render times were progressively progressively progress, prog progressively getting longer and longer and longer now that's not acceptable for me I, I'm running top tier equipment on this computer this thing's got a 6th gen i7 6700 that is locked because it's a pre-built computer they don't tend to give you lot unlocked especially because this is a Dell and their unlocked processor line their top 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 end tier line is their Alienware stuff so they don't want to bring it down to their Inspiron and then now to their uh, uh, XPS computers because they want you to buy their top tier four or five grand computers when you can build computers that'll destroy that for a lot less <laughs> so uh, yeah here's the card I'll do some cinematic stuff of the card dead card um, so let's put that card aside so my first couple big purchases is this computer. You guys can kind of see the first half of this, but you guys can't actually see what it is. So let's 
well, this, I guess we're going to go to this first. So what this is, this is a Corsair RM750X PSU. It's a 750 watt fully modular power supply unit. That's what PSU stands for. So you guys might be asking, um, you're going from an old 460 watt PSU to one that's almost double the size. And here's the reason. This thing was 80 bucks on Newegg. Brand new, and it comes with all the cables and everything. But so the MSRP is roughly one twenty nine ninety nine, I believe, on Newegg, and the Newegg had a sale for a hundred dollars for this thing. That's cheaper than the six hundred and fifty watt of the same series. Then Corsair released a twenty dollar mail-in rebate on top of that thirty dollar off. So I saved roughly 50 bucks off this PSU. The 550, no, 500 watt, that one, MSRP, is $90. I got this one for 80. Uh, so I pounced on it, ran up, jumped, killed the deal, and now I have this one. This got a 10-year warranty, it's 80 plus gold. So you can't find anything else for this deal that I bought this thing at. So... Kind of put it on the floor. And here is the gaming beast itself that I threw in it. I got an Asus Republic of Gamers Strix 1080 Ti. This is NVIDIA's flagship gaming card. Because I could say flagship, and that would mean their, tar their Titan X Little Pascal. I mean Little Pascal because this thing destroys it. And... They didn't want to. They didn't want to build a card that would destroy it in all aspects. It destroys it in CUDA cores. That's how many cores it's got. Don't know the exact specs, but I'll put them kind of right, right, right around the books. This thing destroys it in clock speed, core count, but not RAM. This thing has 11 gigs of GDDR5X RAM. That's insane. Most games, the maximum I've seen is 5 gigs. And I tried playing one of the games that actually just put this thing to sleep. Um, was Ghost Recon Wildlands. Because I had, I had tried so hard to get that game to run on this card and it just didn't want to do it. So that's probably one of the reasons why it killed it. And th that card is not meant for video editing. It's just meant for budget gaming when I bought it. But I thought that one was like the best card in the world. But I should have waited a couple more years and just got the 1070. But I didn't know that back in 26, 2014, I mean. So, yeah, this has got 11 gigs. Their Titan X line all has 12 gigs. They didn't want this thing to fully pull ahead. It's, it's a head. It's kind of like right there. This is a Titan X. This is the, this card. So it's pulling up a little bit more. But... This this thing's a beast. In any way, this thing. Why do they have to put the VR Ready sticker on it? Because if the GTX, if this thing, before it died, was VR Ready, I think this thing's gonna be VR Ready because it's five hundred percent faster than that thing. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you gotta put it on everything. But holy smokes, this these two items are the first two things on my new computer list. Now this was roughly half the price of my new computer that I'm building. But you gotta, you gotta get the big things out of the way and then you can buy the case if you're upgrading a pre-built. I had to do some serious modding to get these two in there, that's for sure. That's kind of why I'm making this video like, can you really upgrade a pre-built system? Yes, you can, but you're gonna have to do some sawing or bending or a lot of other things so the reason why I had to get another PSU yes I kind of bought a $60 adapter but I'm never gonna see this deal on this one ever again so I just thought hmm let me let me pounce with my little pocket knife and kill the darn thing so here is why so this GPU requires two six pin connectors so, yeah, this PSU can fully handle that. 
Here, let me let me come up there and show you guys. See right here, you guys can kind of see that it requires two six pin, and that this this piece this PSU can fully handle that. But this thing can also hold six SATA, the six SATA drives and whatever. That's that's a lot of power. But then when you get to this big beast here. This thing requires two eight pins, and yes, that is two more pins than the Founders Edition card. But you guys will see why, because it's got lighting, it's got fan controllers on it for external fans, it's got RGB controllers because ASUS wants to de de destroy the RGB market. Because to be honest, this is not sponsored by anybody. Just maybe by road, I guess, because they sent me these two microphones in exchange for my video mic go. Because that thing was, to be honest, a real big potato. Okay, so now let's unscrew the side panel. You guys can see the RM750X and the wires going into the old power supply shroud area. Now look at this thing in all its glory. Now you guys can see it's a big mumble jumble mess in there. But there's the GPU right there. I I might as well just take the camera off its tripod and show you guys in its main glory. Okay, so right here you guys can see the the GPU right here. This thing was like the world's biggest pain to get inside this computer. Like, holy smokes. I had to bend the case right there so I can get those big fans right in there. And the the two 8-pin plugs, you guys can kind of see it right there. But, yeah, there's the Asus Strix logo. You guys can't really see that at all. Well, you guys can see the Strix logo right there, the ROG logo. Here's the entire computer in its glory. You got everything still hooked up really ghetto. Then <laughs> there's the old PSU shroud right there. That all got all the little wires, the little stringy wires going up to the new PSU. It's fully modular. <laughs> Yeah, so guys, you guys can really, really, really see that you guys can, it's physically possible that you guys can upgrade a pre-built computer like I've shown you guys here, but I really wouldn't suggest it because you're doing a, a whole bunch of modifications, your entire airflow dynamic of the case is all messed up, my monitor on my camera is flipped around so I can't see myself, so hopefully I'm in frame. By the reflection in the mirror, yes, I can. I'm in frame. Yeah, you physically can upgrade your computer and do something like this, but there are really cheap cases on the market for 50 bucks that you can throw all this stuff in it, it'll all fit. But I'm trying to get myself an N1805 case. Picture right here. That case is so good, it's Aura Sync compatible. So on the side of my GPU, there are fan, there are, I think the GPU is right here. Yeah, on the back side of my, my GPU, there's an RGB plug, there's a fan header, there's another fan header. And there are temperature solder readings on the top of the card by the power plugs. This case has got everything. I can plug all the lights into my GPU and run them all through our sync. I'm so hyped for that case. Right, that case is gonna be really, really nice. So, anyway, you guys probably saw them throughout this video before I really end the video before. It's a 35 minute video and then it becomes Christmas when I finish the video. You guys see that I have a brand new intro at the very beginning of the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed the intro. I like it, it's more like a techie themed intro. I'll, I'll still use the gaming intro when I put gaming videos on this channel. They're they're kind of they'll be spread out more and more and more as I do this tech stuff. Can you guys please share the video? 
turn on post notifications, subscribe while you're turning on those post notifications, comment down below what you guys want me to do next, and hope you guys enjoyed those little plugs that were scrolled throughout the videos. This is going to be a fun run for us with Tech Channel and Apple Pie Tech. This has been Nick, or Apple Pie Tech, signing out. See you in the next one.